hey friends good to see you again so now that we have adjusted our biped we'll go into the modifier panel and add skin modifier now from the drop down menu click add to add the biped bones for skinning so this dialog box will open and we will select all the biped bones first after selecting all the bones hold control and remove remove a few bones from the selection so we'll click on forearms both right and left and calf both right and left as the skinning will be done on their respective twist bones along with these also remove ponytail which is outside the chin as there is no need to skin it now click select to add all these bones come to the skin select envelop option in the skin modifier and you can see the envelops of all the bones that we have selected now we need to adjust each envelope to skin the character properly so we start from the head envelope we'll make it smaller to exclude the vertices that should not be uh, affected by this bone as you may be knowing that each envelope has a inner and outer circle both needs to be adjusted here the twist links will decide the skinning of the vertices so um, spine seems fine so basically skinning is something that you learn gradually after doing it a uh, few times as you can see the feet envelope is going to the opposite feet so we need to correct that so after we have adjusted all the envelopes uh, now we require finer adjustments and that can be done by vertex individual vertices so we select the vertex and we give them weights and weights are basically uh, from 0 to 1 in which 0 means the vertex won't be affected by that selected bone and 1 means the vertex will move 100% with the selected bone the vertex on the joints are basically shared by both the bones so after having adjusted the envelopes we need to do some uh, test animation to check the skinning problems so i usually keep a test animation saved to test the skinning of the characters so i'll go into the motion panel and deselect the figure mode of the biped as animation cannot occur in figure mode 
Now load the BIP for the testing animation. Well, as you can see, the skinning has some flaws that needs to be corrected. So first we will correct the chin bone. Select the envelope and uh, click the paint weight and a brush will come that is too big. So I will go to the tab next to it to decrease the size of the brush. And now we will just paint weights on the vertex in which red means 100% weight, orange is somewhere around 50% and blue means there will be no effect. So keep brushing the areas whose weight you want to increase. So basically all the lower lip uh, is red as we want the lower lip to move with the chin bone. Now we'll select the head bone. Reduce its area so that it is not affecting the vertices that it should not affect. Now I'll we'll select the upper lip because we want to keep the upper lip with the skull as there will be no movement of upper lips with the chin bone and as I am selecting individual vertices and giving them a weight of 1 so that they will stay with the head or the skull of the character and corners of the mouth will be shared by both the bones chin bone and the skull so I will again paint weights on the corners of the mouth so it seems better now We will correct the twist bones. Same selecting the vertex and increasing the weight. And as you can see, we, the shoulder needs correction. We will select the envelope and uh, just adjust the envelopes. As you can see the neck uh, envelope requires some changes. So for neck what I can do is I can select two vertex, loop them and give them weight of one or something so that it moves with the neck bones.
So basically you do this for all the bones till you are satisfied with the test animation. As more work you do on the skinning, less work will be required for the skin morph. And that is the topic of our next tutorial. So good luck skinning your character and uh, I'll see when you're ready for skin morph. So goodbye till then.